Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. You know what time it is. It's coffee with Candace time. I hope you're having a really great start to your day and an awesome week so far. And of course, I want to start by saying thank you to everyone who has been liking, commenting, and sharing. I really appreciate it. So let's just get right to it. This week's topic is yesterday's official remarks released by Governor Sislak's office in regards to our roadmap to recovery phase two outline. So we are now starting into phase two as of this coming Friday, May 29th, and gaming will be opening up as of June 4th. So I get people asking me all the time, when is Vegas opening up? What's going on? That's where we're at right now. So we've been in phase one for a couple of weeks. Phase two starts this Friday, May 29th, and gaming will open up June 4th. Now, a couple of bullet points from one to two. Um, we have been limited to 10 or less in a group setting. Now in phase two, it will be 50 people or less. So we are really kind of loosening that up. We're gonna have some more group activities. Um, we will not have, however, bars will not be open, bars that just serve alcohol, uh, day clubs, nightclubs, strip clubs, things of that nature. You know, a lot of the things that Vegas is kind of built around, those things are not opening up in phase two. Uh, but we are going to see gyms open up on Friday, which is awesome. So I don't know about you, but I've been getting pretty creative with my workouts. It has been a good time, but I am really looking forward to get back to getting back to the gym. Um, there are going to still be some restrictions in regards to that, just as there have been with restaurants. Um, it's going to be a 50% or less occupancy rate, so you're going to have more room to, you know, spread out and do your thing. Um, of course, there's going to be more. Um, hygiene regulations and things of that nature for, nature for the employees who will need to wear face masks. They're going to be putting up sneeze guards and locker rooms are not going to be open as of yet, like steam rooms and things of that nature. But of course, restrooms will be open in your gym. So that was one bullet point that I really wanted to point out. And then also, um, the reason for phase two starting off here coming on May 29th is we've actually been at a steady trajectory of declined cases here locally. Um, so for 31 days now, we have been at a steady decline of COVID cases compared to um, people who are being tested versus positive tests. Um, it's a 6.5% decrease. So what that tells me is that phase one has been working. Our social distancing has been working. Uh, we are on the steady decrease. So just continue to do those social distancing responsibilities that you do naturally and on your own. And um, I'm hoping that this is just the beginning of the true reopening. So um, some very exciting news there, watch for that. And just kind of on the job front and on the economy and real estate front, uh, we are here heavily hit with a 30% unemployment rate in Nevada. So three out of every 10 employees is now currently unemployed. It's kind of a staggering number when you think about it. So far, the housing market has not been truly affected or impacted hugely, um, but we have seen some changes and you just wanna be mindful of what's happening coming up into the future. So we've seen a slight decrease in appreciation just in this last month. Uh, nothing too crazy, but it was the first decline in quite some time. Uh, also, inventory, as I've mentioned in the past, we've continued to have a steady increase in supply. Um, right now, we're at about a 20% more inventory released versus what's being sold. So if we keep up at this pace, right now we're in a seller's market. Uh, traditionally speaking, when you look at supply and demand, we've been in a seller's market for the last several years. Um, if this continues to uh, go at the same rate, at that 20% increase, we will soon have the scales tipped to more of a buyer's market. So it's actually been a pretty great buyer's and seller's market recently, just because of interest rates being so incredibly low. I mean, they're at a historical all-time low. So we've seen a, an increase in uh, loan <clears throat> refis, um, second loans, things of that nature. Sales are pretty steady. And um, the number that I wanna keep an eye on is forbearances. We've had about 10% of mortgages in Nevada go into a forbearance, forbearance period. Um, and I just wanna make sure that if you've done a forbearance, you realize that most of the forbearances will call the note due, or call the back payments due after that short time frame of forgiveness. So what that means is 
the mortgage payments that you are being forgiven right now in the under the forbearance, whether it be for one month, three months, or six months, um, once that time period is up, typically speaking, that entire amount that should have been paid the whole time will be called due. So please make sure if you've done a forbearance, you want to know the details of what's going on. Um, if that is the case, I think that we're probably going to see more inventory hit the market just because people are going to need to sell. Um, over 50% of homeowners have over 50% of equity in their home. So most homeowners have some cash or some equity in their home. And if they're still unemployed and not able to make that mortgage payment, they're either going to be, I don't want to say forced, but you know, the decision will be to either sell, it'll be to do a loan modification or possibly go into foreclosure. So we shall see. Um, I'm actually quite experienced in short sales, foreclosures, notice of default and loan modification. So if anyone has any questions or needs any help, please feel free to give me a call. I'm here to help educate you and just point you in the right direction and just be a guide for you during this time. So if you need anything at all, just give me, give me a ring, give me a call. So I hope that helps. Just wanted to give you a little um, update as what's going on. So exciting that we are in phase two of the reopening. Reason being is because we've actually seen a decline in um, COVID cases here locally, the 6.5% decline. So that's really great. I hope that uh, that's some good positive news for you guys. So Vanderbilt Royalty Solutions, I'm here moving you forward. Just give me a call. Talk to you soon.